How you doing today? How you doing today? All right, all right. Listen, question of the day. Now, I don't make these questions up. Question of the day. Can I get paid to take care of my grandma while she's at the nursing home or hospital? I don't know. But listen, that's the question. Stick around to the very end, and I promise you, I promise you, I'm going to give you all the information that you need to know. All right? So look, if you don't know who I am by now, my name is Kion Church. I'm your in-home healthcare guide. All right? So what do I like to do? I like to help financially challenge family members to become paid caregivers through the Medicaid long-term health care program. And I'm doing all of that so everybody can have some sort of income. You know what I mean? We're doing the best we can taking care of these older folks, taking care of our loved ones. And, you know, sometimes it could be financially frustrating. So what I want to do is I want to offer you a solution. All right? So look, I don't want y'all to think like I make these questions up, man. You know what I mean? So if you're here with me right now, you know, dial in, you know, text me while I'm on the air, whatever you got to do. Get me your questions and I promise you I'll answer them, all right? Excuse me. So, uh, lady asked me a question. Now, this ain't my stuff. You can check my YouTube out. People ask me questions every day because, you know, people are financially frustrated. You know, how can I get to the bag, KC? I'm doing all I can do. How can I get to the bag? I'm going to tell you. Look, number one question. If your loved one is in a nursing home, nursing facility, hospital, can you get paid? I'm going to give you the answer. Hell no, you can't get paid. Now, how you think you're going to get paid if the people are in the hospital? You know what I'm saying? You're not a hospital staff worker. You're not, you don't work at the nursing home. You're an unskilled uh, 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 in-home health care worker. You know what I mean? In other words, you like that person so much that you're willing to help them, you know what I mean, when they're at your house or when they're in their own home. Look, if you're checking in with me live, hashtag live. If you're not here with me live, hashtag rebroadcast. Wherever you're watching this at, make sure you like and you subscribe, man, because the subscribers is how, you know, we move this information forward. Once once the platforms kind of see that, you know what I mean, this is valuable information, then they try to help us out and move and, and share it around with us. So listen, people always call me and they say, uh, why would I want to get paid to help my grandma or why would I want to get paid to help my mom? And I always thought like that was a ridiculous question, you know, but most people are what they're really saying is, you know, I'm doing this out of the love. You know, what I mean, why would I collect a check? And then, excuse me, we got the people that's like, look, uh, I'm doing everything I want to get paid. Listen, your grandma, your mom, whoever it is that you take care of, I don't want you to look at them like a paycheck. If you're looking at them like a paycheck, you not who I'm talking to. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking to all the big hearted people who love other people and they enjoy taking care of other people and they probably going broke trying to do it. That's who I'm talking to. If you out here trying to get a check because that, that older lady needs help and that's your grandma, you ain't my type of person. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know, in my other lifetime, you know, I don't want to veer off too far, but in my other lifetime... I used to sell another service and I used to tell people, yo, get out of here cuz this ain't for you. Get out of here. I might be talking to you. Get out of here. This is not for you. If you trying to get over and put some money in your pocket, this is not for you. This right here is for the people like me. Look, I don't know if y'all know my story, but I had two parents, two family members, two parents, my mother and my father was in two different hospitals at the same time. I don't know what happened to my mom. I know my dad had a stroke. They ended up taking him to the hospital. He had like three or four strokes in the hospital. You know what I mean? My mom ended up having some other problems. She had like some cardiac problems. She, had, My mom had like six incurable things going on at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So they ended up taking her to Christiana, which is in Christiana, Delaware. And they ended up taking my pop to Ridley, Pennsylvania, which is Ridley Hospital in Pennsylvania. It was either Ridley or Taylor, one or the other. But I don't know if you know, but like it's a nice little distance between the two of those spots. So what I had to do is I had to fandangle, finagle, you know, my best way about going about helping these two people because, you know, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? One job is for one person. Now, I, right now, I had one job taking care of me and two other jobs taking care of two other people. So I was desperate about finding out how I can get paid. Now, it wasn't how can I get paid while they're at the nursing home or the hospital. It's all about these people is coming home. And when they come home, they're going to need some extra help. So if I got to spend all my time, you know, not going to my little nine to five, I don't think I ever had a nine to five. I ain't going to lie to y'all, but I always had something that paid some money. So if I got to, 
kill my time off of making money. I'm gonna need to be able to pick up a paycheck some other some other pay some other way, some other avenue. I gotta do something. You know what I mean? That's when the 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 boop, 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 it started rolling like yo, gotta do something, cuz because if we don't bring in no money, we all just gonna be here together and the roof gonna eventually fall in. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I don't know. Like things happen and you gotta be prepared for when those things are gonna happen. Only way you can be prepared is if your pocket is right. You know what I mean? So if you hear me talking about get paid to take care of your loved ones, get paid, get paid, get paid, I'm not talking in the selfish sense of the manner that you might be thinking I'm talking about. I'm talking about an honest day's pay for an honest day's work because you wasn't able to go and, uh, you know, work at the bank today or, you know, put in your put in hours at your nine to five or, or whatever it is that you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Listen, don't get over on grandma. Grandma need all the help you can get. You know what I'm saying? Now, what I can tell you is, you know, the best way to, to set yourself up to get paid is to make all the right moves. Now, if you got a if you got a grandma, if you got a loved one, whoever it is, if they're in a hospital or they're in a nursing home, what you need to be doing is setting it up so when they come home, you can get paid. Now, I'm going to give you the secret sauce. Ain't nobody gave you this. All right. See, the text messages is coming. They, they be Listen, anytime y'all see me put my hand up there, I'm moving them text messages away. Now, listen, the best way for you to get paid is for you to tell your grandmother or your loved one's case manager. every Okay, look, while they're in the hospital, they got some special things going on. And they got people who are dedicated to uh, serving the members, the insurance members, while they're at the facility. Whether this be hospital, nursing home, you know, I don't care. Wherever they're at, they're stationed there. They got some help, all right? They're called case managers and they're called social workers. What I would do personally, being so we, me and you both know it's only one insurance company that pays for this, that's Medicaid. What I would do is I would try to get my mother or my, you know, person that I'm taking care of into Medicaid before they come home. Because you know that once they're in Medicaid, they got an opportunity to get a, a paid, non-skilled healthcare worker. And if you working with Reliable Aid, that's going to be you. That's how you're going to get paid. All right. So look, while you're there utilize your resources. You know what I mean? You got a case manager. What you got to do is you got to attack that case manager hard. Every day you need to be there. You know what I mean? Well, my mom was in the hospital the last time. Uh, every day that it was like a team of people who met with my mom and every day they figured out the best things that she needed to go forth and, 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 you know, you know, work on her health and be able to, you know, be all right at the end of the day. Now, what they did is they called that the plan. See, this is what I told you to do. Text the number 302-689-3240. If you got a question and you're scared to get on the live with me, text the number. You know what I mean? I see the question. I go ahead and answer it. So look, what you want to do is you want to be attacking those case managers. You want to tell the case manager, look, my mom's needs have changed. When she get home, she's going to need some help. I want to see about this Medicaid program. You know what I mean? Now, it's like three little simple things that it's going to take for her to get into Medicaid. All right? Number one. It's going to be an income verification. Now, unfortunately, if you got a whole lot and you got a bunch of assets, Medicaid ain't going to give you anything. So if that's the case, you know what I mean? It's just nothing we can do. But if you're in the right position and you got yourself set up, right, that's for you. All right. So what they're going to do is they're going to come at you. They're going to do this income verification. Now, once you pass that, let's say that you pass that, they're going to... uh. I don't know what it is, man. I had this turkey bacon today, man. Keep making me like hiccup or something. I don't know. It was good though. All right. So look, after that, what they're going to do is uh, they're going to ask your doctor for a comprehensive medical report. Now, this comprehensive medical report, it's just an old fancy schmancy name for uh, basically what's going on. What's the diagnosis? Now, once your doctor, your main doctor says that, uh, you know, Mr. Church is eligible to be in a program. Now you got two of the birds, you know what I'm saying, already knocked down. The first bird is the uh, income verification. The second bird is they just want to whisper a little bit into your doctor's ear and make sure that, you know, everything is straight. You know what I mean? It, will this program benefit this person? Your doctor's going to sign off and say, yeah, of course. This is good for him. All right. So after that, the third and final thing they're going to do is they're going to want to interview you, you know? Now, they're going to interview you, and they're going to ask you a couple questions. They're going to say, hey, man, um, you know, uh, 
we heard this was your income. We heard this is where you're living at. Your doctor said that you could benefit best by this. You know, if that's cool with you, then we wouldn't mind enrolling you in a program depending on how you feel. Now, if you was me, if I was you, I would say, listen, I'm with it 100%. Get me the most I can get. See, a lot of people, like, especially like my mom, my mom wouldn't take no help. You know what I mean? My mom, she wanted to drive till the very last day on earth. She wanted to, uh, she wanted to get up and do her own thing. Like, I ain't mad at her. You know what I mean? Some people got a lot of drive, a lot of motivation, everything. But what I'm saying is, don't neglect the things that can be given to you, even though your drive and your will is strong. You know what I mean? Some people look at it like, yo, I got a pride issue, and they they not gonna tell you they got a pride issue, but they actually got a deep down inside pride issue because they won't allow anybody to help them. Now look. You need all the help you can get. Don't take that opinion like, hey, I don't need nobody. You know what I mean? This ain't no this ain't no charity thing going on. You know what I mean? It's a lot of money out there. Medicaid got billions of dollars put to the side so they can actually take care of you inside of your home. See, if you ended up going to the uh, hospital or the, uh, 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 the facility long term, it's going to cost Medicaid hundreds of thousands of dollars to be able to take care of you. So what they really want to do is they want to cut that off at the pass. Skirt, hold on a second. Yeah, you know I mean, that person's eligible for uh for uh for this long-term services program and and uh we're going to put an aid on them and make sure they're safe and be able to stay within the home. You feel me? That's what you really want. You want as much help as you can inside the home. Nobody wants to go to the cold stop nursing home. You feel me? When my mom was alive, she was at the nursing home and she told me, she said, yo, you need to get me up out of here. I said, mom, they said, uh, I said, she said, listen, I'm coming home and that's all it is. So when mom said, that's all it is, that's all it is. We got to figure out a new plan. The new plan going to include, going to have to include how we going to pay this rent, mom. You know what I'm saying? Because if you over there, I know they got their eye on you and I can go ahead and I can do my other things. You know what I'm saying? I can I can go ahead and manipulate and, and, and do some other things. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, y'all know KC, I'm into some things. You feel me? So while mom is there, I can move around. But if mom not there, she want to come home. I got to be home with her. How we going to do that? Hmm. Got to figure this one out. All right. So best plan for you. Talk to the case manager. Tell the case manager, look, when my mom come home, she ain't got nobody. You know, not not putting no fuel on the fire. I'm telling the truth. Your mom's older. She probably can't do it all by herself. And coming straight from the hospital, how would you expect her to do it all by herself? You know what I mean? You wouldn't expect her to do it all by herself. That's why you there every day. So listen, while you there every day, let me connect a paycheck to your pocket. All right? Look. Hashtag live, hashtag rebroadcast. Wherever you watching this broadcast from, put it in the comments. You know what I mean? If you got a cousin who this situation is his situation, tag his name right in the comments. You know what I mean? I know plenty of people call me every day and they say, yo, my loved one is in the nursing home. What can I do? Listen, if they coming home soon, you need to act fast. You need to act fast, man. Put the fire to the flame. Put the flame to the fire, however it's saying go. Get up off your backside, get up off your backside and do some things. Make some phone calls. Now, if you don't know who to call, your first phone call should be to Mr. KC. You know what I mean? Now, listen, I can help you out. I can do all the talking for you. If you need me to talk to these case managers, if you need me to plug you with Medicaid financial services, if you need me to plug you with the LTSS program hotline number, let me know. I got all that stuff on speed, dog. And... I know people in position over there. So if you need me, I'm going to direct you to the right person. Oh, yeah, call Miss Karen over there, such and such. Boom, give her this number or give her this name. Tell her who referred you. You know what I mean? Simple as that, man. Simple as that. But I'm going to tell you, if you do nothing, you're going to get nothing. You know what I mean? And it's going to hurt your pocket financially, but it's also going to hurt your loved one because they are the ones who need the care. They need the, they need the real help. They need the helping hand. They need the love. They the one that need that. You know what I mean? You, you just broke because you take them, you taking care of them so much and you ain't got a chance to get a job. You know what I mean? So like I said, we always put other people's needs in front of ours, but right now it's time for you to get paid, man. 
You've been doing this job long enough. When your parents or your loved ones come home from the nursing home, make sure they're in position to get some help. And if they're in position to get some help, you're in position to get paid. Call me, 302-689-3240, 302-689-3240. Look, you might need a little help with the situation, man. I ain't going to say like it's easy, but what I can say is I've done it multiple times before. You know what I mean? You know, KC been a caregiver, man. I've been I've been doing this caregiving thing since like the 90s, man. Like it was crazy. You know, I'm I'm kind of like Tommy, man. This this my secret, man. Don't don't tell nobody this, man. But I'm kind of like Tommy, you know what I mean? And when I say Tommy, if you know anything about Tommy, you know, Tommy really came from the Martin show. You know, serious rest in peace shout out to my boy Tommy cuz you know, he was a cool dude, but he died, you know what I mean? So we gonna keep his memory going on, cause I'm the living Tommy right now. You know, I ain't the living Tommy right now, cause I, I got a I got a bona fide 100 percent 24 hour job <laughs> helping you out. But back in the day, they was trying to figure KC out. They was like, look, my mom told me she said, look, you don't do nothing all day. You know, I see you all day. You ain't doing nothing. I'm gonna need you to go pick your grandma up. You know, she had a job. She worked till five o'clock every day. You know what I mean? She said, look, I'm gonna need you to go pick your grandma up. See what she need from the supermarket. Do whatever it is she need, you know, and then uh, get on out of there. You know what I mean? All right, mom, I can handle that because she had the next shift. You know what I'm saying? And then as time grew on, my grandmother needed more and more things. It was like it wasn't even like a nobody telling me to go around there. And now it's just like a am doing what I got to do. You know what I mean? So if you doing what you got to do and you got a job, it's going to be hard for you to keep money in your pocket. That's why I come to you every day. Telling you the right things. Look, if you're here with me now, hashtag live. If you're here with me in a rebroadcast, hashtag rebroadcast. Depending on where you're watching this at, you might be listening to this on anchor.fm forward slash the big hearted caregiver. Make sure you subscribe. Yo, funny story. I just looked on our uh, on a podcast. We got like a thousand people that listen to the episodes, but we got like less than three or four subscribers. Now, I know for a fact, Three people didn't listen to 900 episodes, man. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no shame if I see you on there as a subscriber, man. You know you need this information. You listen to it 900 times. You know what I mean? Be down with the family, man. We love you. <laughs> Kelly Bain in the building. How you doing today? Look, if you here with me, hashtag live. If you here with me in a rebroadcast, hashtag rebroadcast. You know what I'm saying? So look, man. I did it. I've been there. You know what I'm saying? I took care of my grandma, you know what I mean? I, I I took care of my grandpa till his last day on earth. Me and him was together. That was my main man. You know what I'm saying? Mom saw I was I was I was fortunate enough to be able to take care of her till her last days. Right now it's me and Pop, and that's all I got. So I'm trying to do the best thing I can do. You know what I mean? Now you, I know you're doing the best thing you can do and your pockets is leaking. Listen. Don't let your pockets leak all the way out, man, because that ain't going to be real fun, man. You're going to be broke. You know what I mean? If you're going to be broke, you're going to be hungry. And if you're going to be hungry, your loved one going to be hungry, man. And listen, that's a sad situation, man. You got to turn it up. You got to turn it up, man. I'm going to tell you like this. Everybody in Medicaid is eligible for a paid aid. As long as you're in a long-term uh, program, long-term health care program, you're eligible for a paid aid. Why not get paid? Don't let all your finances, you know, go down the drain because you're so busy taking care of others. You ain't had a chance to bring no money in. You know what I mean? We bringing this money in. You already doing the job to bring the money in. Let's turn Let's turn it on. Let's bring that check in. Call me up. Say, KC, I'm going to need you to turn this check on, baby. You know what I mean? My loved ones, Medicaid, long-term health care. I need you to turn this check on for me, man. Look, I'm going to connect the paycheck to your pocket, man. That's all it is. If you're here with me now, hashtag live. If you're here with me in a rebroadcast, hashtag rebroadcast. Y'all be giving me these thumbs up, these hearts, these likes. I can't always see your picture, so, you know, comment on it. You know what I mean? Let me know you're here and you're with me, all right? Now, look, I'm going to give y'all this saying that my mom gave me, all right? Long time ago, she said, look, KC, Christmas only come one time a year. You feel me? She said, now, if you ain't prepared... Your Christmas going to suck. <laughs> Straight up. I don't even really celebrate Christmas. You know what I'm saying? But all I know is if you if you expect to see something under that tree, you know what I'm saying, once a year, and you ain't got no bread, 
it's going to be a hard time. Miss Lewis, how you doing today? I'm glad you could stop on by. You know what I mean? Hashtag live. Hashtag rebroadcast if you're here with me. Don't forget to like and share this, man. It's a lot of people who need this good information, man. You Like, you'll be surprised. Like, I help people from Cali. I, I, listen, I'm like the homeboy. He said, man, I work with people from Frisco to Maine. You know what I'm saying? Now, everybody, I can't get a check, but everybody who's Medicaid long-term health care, I can tell you how to get this check. You feel me? Let's go, man. If you fit anywhere in between Frisco to Maine, man, let's go. I'm in Delaware. All of Delaware Medicaid people, I'm going to need you to stand up, man, because we're going to get your, your health care worker, your non-skilled uh, uh, aid to get paid. And all that's going to do is free up some, some things for you, you know? It's a good thing, man, we're going to put some money in our pocket, man. I ain't necessarily talking about some change, eh? you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about that good thing that folds, you know what I mean? You'd be surprised, man. A lot of people getting a million hours with their with their parents and loved ones, and it's really paying off. You know what I mean? Now, I say that it's really paying off because the longer you got to stay away from the workplace, the harder it is for you to stack that bank account up. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to need this, man. These tools and fuse, man. They, they Listen, I don't know how you're going to survive on that, man. You need a guarantee. You need a guarantee, baby. All right? Hit me up, man. I got people out here getting comma checks. Comma checks. Listen, I'm going to say that one more time because I know some of y'all didn't hear that. I got people out here getting comma checks for taking care of their mama. You know what I mean? Now, if you unfamiliar with a comma check because you ain't never got a comma check, that's where you got four digits. And after the first digit, they got this little thing like, shoop. It's like a little Nike swoop. They stick it right there. And that's a comma check. Man, now tell me, that's strong. That's strong. For taking care of your loved one? Mm. Listen, just because you sitting out don't mean it's over. You know what I'm saying? You really working. You working You working harder than the average person work because you got to bring it in. You got to take care. Man, y'all don't even understand. I live with my pop. I mean, if nothing else, every day I got I to gotta open the blinds in the morning. You know what I'm saying? I, I just I, snuggle, I, I, I shoveled snow two times yesterday. You know what I mean? Two times shoveling snow at the crib. Come on, man. If this was my crib, I'd be laid back, man. When all the sun, when all the, when all the uh, 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 snow hit the ground, I'm gonna pay somebody. You know what I mean? But I can't do that here. You know what I mean? You gotta get up. You gotta keep it moving. The person who you there with needs you. You know what I mean? And they don't need no broke people around, man. Like that ain't fun. You know what I mean? Being broke ain't fun, man. Look, cash in on your situation. Do it now. Call me three zero two six eighty nine thirty two forty three zero two six eight nine. 3240. Look, I got to get out of here, but look, don't let anybody shame or blame you into thinking that what you're doing is wrong. We're doing this to get our blessings. You hear me? I got to go, but I love you. I'm going to check you tomorrow, all right? Peace.